student, good day. Uh, today uh, we have the uh, first lectures of general surgery. And the uh, topic of our lectures is two topics. Uh, the first topic is antisepsis, and the second topic is asepsis. And I tell you uh, some information for uh, general surgery uh, history at the first. Uh, student, <coughs> surgery originated a long time ago, long, long time ago. Why do we know about this? Scientific <coughs> archaeologists have found artifacts, skulls of uh, prehistoric uh, people. And now I show you this slide. <coughs> On this slide you can see the, uh, the skulls. And uh, uh, you can see the, <coughs> the proofs of the surgical intervention. Intervention. On next slide, I can show you <coughs> its uh, important uh, uh, proofs. Uh, there is evidence of this kind of surgery much earlier. For example, uh, this uh, trepanated skull of a girl who lived uh, 5,500 years ago, and she survived uh, the surgery. The skulls is a natural history museum, uh, Louisiana. From, from this photo, uh, we can uh, say that this a woman lived for a certain time after the operation. Why? Student, uh, <coughs> in the slide you can see the hole, uh, hole of the uh, skull, and this hole results of uh, surgery, results of surgery. Uh, why, uh, why, we, uh, why we know uh, that uh, <coughs> uh, this girl uh, survived after the surgery? If you, let's I show you next slide. Uh, student, <coughs> on this slide you can see the uh, trauma, trauma with a fracture of the skull, fracture of the skull. And uh, when the patient <coughs> Uh, after trauma uh, died immediately, uh, this patient have the, <coughs> have the uh, un unsmooth uh, age of this hole. If your uh, patient uh, survived uh, surgery, uh, like this, survived surgery, this patient have the smooth, smooth age of the hole. And uh, <coughs> it's proof uh, for, for surgery, uh, this patients. Okay, uh, next slide. You can see two, uh, the patient uh, with uh, prehistoric people, prehistoric people, pre prehistoric human, after surgery. Trepanation is the cutting of a hole uh, through one skull to relieve excess pressure. Uh, this dates um, back to us early at the Stone Age, around uh, 3000 uh, <coughs> BC. Unearthed uh, remains of uh, sexual brain operation, as well as surgical instruments, uh, were found in France and one at one of Europe's note archaeological Digs. Okay, and uh, this slide you can see uh, something like uh, this could like uh, could look uh, like a real operation in prehistoric times. Okay, in this slide you uh, <coughs> you can see the tools, the older tools, older tools for uh, surgery. This artifact uh, has, has been found from archaeologists. And, then see you can, and uh, in this slide you can see the two uh, tools, tools, older tools <coughs> uh, for surgery. It's a uh, product from the stone, from the stone, the tools products from the stone. 
And uh, this, uh, you can see the next, uh, next proofs of uh, surgery. And uh, the Edwin Smith's papyrus uh, documents uh, and signed e Egyptian uh, medicine include the diagnosis and treatment of injuries. Diagnosis and treatment of injuries. Student, in this slide you can see ancient uh, Egyptian medical instruments uh, <coughs> depicted in the uh, Ptolemaic period inscription on the uh, temple of Kom Ombo. And uh, this slide you can see uh, what, uh, what surgery uh, can be performed uh, the <coughs> older doctors, older doctors, surgeon, uh, student, and uh, in this time, in this time, the uh, surgeon can uh, can be performed uh, as a uh, surgery. No, in this uh, slide you can see the uh, surgery uh, on abdomen. And the next slide you can see the surgery on the eyes. Uh, <coughs> in this slide you can see the two proofs for the <coughs> papyrus. One of, of the oldest, oldest uh, Sushrata, uh, Samhita palm uh, leaf manuscripts is uh, preserved at the uh, Kaiser Library Nepal, in Nepal. Student, and uh, I, I tell you about the case of <coughs> case of uh, uh, Roman Roman Empire Roman Empire medicine uh, in uh, Roman Empire. <coughs> uh, no, how uh, how you know uh, Roman Empire have the uh, a lot uh, soldiers uh, soldiers, and the soldiers uh, sometimes need to. Uh, need to surgery. Uh, what surgery? <coughs> uh, uh, large, large military uh, crossing uh, <coughs> was uh, was cause of uh, very cause vein of the soldiers, and these soldiers uh, need to surgery. And in Rome Empire, the doctors of Roman Empire. Uh <coughs> Can uh, can perform the surgery, uh, dilatation of the vein. Uh, for a very long time, the development of surgery uh, was <coughs> was uh, held uh, back by two problems. Uh, the first is a large number of uh, purulent complications after surgery. And the second problem is the lack of adequate anesthesia. Student, a long, long time, uh, the uh, purulent complication uh, was uh, one important problem uh, which uh, was uh, felt back, felt back, and the uh, development of uh, surgery. <coughs> and uh, now I tell you about the uh, about the, uh, the patient uh, with the trauma, maybe a military trauma, maybe other trauma, and have the open wounds. Uh, the, uh, about the 70, 80 percent of these people uh, have, the, have the purulent complications, superative, uh, superative uh, complications. Uh, sometimes uh, which, uh, com this complication uh, leading to death, leading to death. It, it, this in very important problems. And now uh, let's uh, come over the uh, topic of antisepsis. And uh, uh, I tell you the uh, definition of antisepsis. Antisepsis is a destruction or inhibition of microorganism. Inhibition, it's uh, slowing the growth of uh, no, micro, micro, uh, microorganism, uh, very small living substance, invisible without a micros uh, microscope. 
Так, and uh, I repeat, uh, antisepsis is destruction of in or inhibition of microorganism uh, that, that exist on living tissue. Antiseptics uh, are the uh, substance that kill or prevent uh, the growth of the microorganism. The name uh, comes from the Greek uh, words anti, against, anti, it's against, and the sepsis is de decay. Antisepsis, antisepsis, against the decay. Antisepsis, uh, sepsis <coughs> prevent infection and uh, other change in living tissue, but destroying, all, all slowing uh, all the growth of the germs. Uh, <coughs> The nature and use of uh, antiseptics was not fully understood until the uh, uh, student. And now I show you the uh, first uh, scientist, uh, the notion, uh, the notion uh, about antiseptics, antisuppurative, uh, was brought by English uh, surgeon uh, Pringle. On the base of his observation, he studied the anti-putrificative uh, <coughs> anti effects of a mineral acid, uh, which were used uh, for uh, disinfection of the savage. It's the first uh, <coughs> scientist, first surgeon, uh, who, uh, <coughs> who name this uh, antisepsis. In this slide, you can see the books uh, for antisepsis, author, author of these books, and uh, <coughs> I, uh, <coughs> I ask you uh, note uh, this uh, date of this book, note this date. Uh, this date is <coughs> 80, 44 uh, years. And uh, this book uh, name as a uh, asepsis and antisepsis in abdominal surgery and gynecology for uh, guidance uh, in medical homes and uh, private practice. Uh, student, in this slide, uh, you can see the Hungarian obstetrician gynecologist Zemil Weiss. Uh, this uh, Zemil Weiss uh, noticed that the hand of a surgeon were the source of uh, <coughs> uh, fever uh, among women in uh, childbirths. He was the first doctor who used chloral, uh, chloral water for treatment of the surgeon hands, uh, birth, uh, birth tracts, instruments, and materials. Increase the uh, pure land uh, secretion pro from the wombs of women suffering from a pure pural, uh, fever uh, that brought uh, the presence of uh, infection in this uh, secretion. He managed to decrease the birth sepsis in, in ten times in ten times. Uh, next slide, you can see the Louis Pasteur. Louis Pasteur. Pasteur was responsible for disproving <coughs> the doctrine of spontaneous uh, generation. Uh, he uh, performed experiments that show that uh, without contamination, microorganism could not develop. And uh, in this time, uh, <coughs> Uh, doctor, uh, all doctors uh, <coughs> uh, have now had now, but the cause of uh, <coughs> infection, uh, uh, it may be surgical infection. It's bacteria, microorganisms, and bacteria. Student, <coughs> in this slide uh, you can see the uh, Joseph Lister. Joseph Lister and uh, uh, and your equipment and he, uh, he, uh, him e equipment for uh, antisepsis uh, for st sterilization. Lister 
prompt the idea of sterile uh, surgery uh, while working uh, at the Glasgow Royal uh, Infirmary. Uh, Lister successfully introduced um, carbolic acid. Carbolic acid uh, no, uh, now uh, known as a phenol. Uh, <coughs> we can use uh, the carbolic uh, acid uh, to sterilize surgical instruments and uh, to clean the wounds. And uh, in this uh, pictures you can see the uh, Lister carbolic uh, steam uh, spray apparatus. And this uh, Joseph Lister too, uh, result of uh, her, uh, <coughs> of her uh, working, it's uh, decrease, decrease of uh, purulent complications uh, uh, some, uh, sometimes, sometimes. Student, and uh, it's <coughs> definition, uh, next definition of antisepsis. Uh, Antisepsis, a set of measures are made at the destruction of bacteria in the wounds, in the focus of inflammation, all the body as a wall. And is this, uh, from this uh, definition, you, <coughs> you can see the uh, destruction of bacteria in the wound. And now I show you this, uh, this <coughs> once. Uh, wounds in the focus of inflammation, close focus of inflammation, all the body as a wall. All the body uh, uh, as a wall, uh, <coughs> as, a, as a name, as a uh, sepsis, as a sepsis. And uh, this, <coughs> uh, on this slide you can see uh, destruction bacteria inside the wound. Destru destruction bacteria inside the wounds. Так. Next. Uh, uh, next slide, you can see the close source of infection, close focus, close focus on here. In this uh, infectional, uh, infectional process, uh, inside the tissue, inside the close tissue. And uh, this uh, focus of infection, uh, when, we, uh, when we treat uh, this, uh, <coughs> it's, uh, it's abscess, and when we treat uh, this abscess, uh, we can we can use the uh, we can use the uh, antiseptics, antisepsis. And next uh, in the slide you can see the uh, patient with sepsis, and uh, when we <coughs> destruction bacteria inside the body as a wall, uh, it's to it's to antisepsis measures of antisepsis. Так. Uh, student, uh, <coughs> all uh, measures of antisepsis uh, divided uh, divided some groups, and this uh, slide you can see the types of antisepsis. Uh, antisepsis have the four main types. Four main types: uh, the first, mechanical antisepsis; second, uh, physical an antisepsis. Uh, third uh, type chemical antisepsis, and fourth uh, type uh, biological antisepsis. Uh, divided this type of antisepsis depending on the mechanism, mechanism of uh, destruction bacteria. And now I show you this. Uh, mechanical antisepsis is based on a surgical debridement of the wound involved existence of the edge, uh, walls, and the bottom of the wound uh, to remove uh, the non-available tissue and uh, microorganism within the wounds is the major uh, methods of treat uh, incidental in infected wounds. It's mechanical antisepsis. No, uh, for example, I show you this uh, debridement of the wound. It, me it mecha mechanical antisepsis, uh, <coughs> and in this slide you can see this mechanical antisepsis debridement of the wound. In this you can see the incision uh, incision of the edge and bottom of the wounds, and stitch and stitch on, s on uh, third picture you can see the stitch. 
Так. In this, uh, you can see two uh, mechanical, mechanical antiseptics. It's a debridement. Debridement the, the wounds. Two, it's uh, mechanical antiseptics. <coughs> mechanical antiseptics. Uh, you can see the surgery. Surgery. Incision, incision of the abscess. Incision of the abscess. Uh, remove, uh, remove the pus inside the uh, abscess cavity and uh, set of drainage after that. It's to mechanical antisepsis. Okay, uh, student, <coughs> in, this, uh, in this slide we can see the other uh, methods. It's uh, physical antisepsis. Uh, physical antisepsis uses the law of uh, capillarity, uh, gig uh, diffusion, osmosis, and uh, siphoning. siphoning. It's a uh, physical methods, and when, uh, when we can use uh, physical methods for uh, <coughs> destruction of the bacteria and remove the pus, remove the bacteria, inside the wounds, inside, uh, inside the <coughs> abscess cavity, uh, we can use the physical methods of antisepsis. And in this slide, we can see this uh, effects of capillarity, effects of capillarity. In this, uh, you can see the, <coughs> I use the uh, ultrasound effects and laser effects. Uh, ultrasound effects and laser effects, uh, it's two, uh, physical antisepsis, and we uh, we can use this uh, physical antisepsis for destruction of bacteria. In the first pictures, you can see the uh, using the ultrasound effects inside the wounds, inside the wounds uh, for the destruction of bacteria. And in second uh, pictures, you can see the uh, second <coughs> methods of the laser effects, laser effects. Uh, for the destruction of the bacteria. Okay, in the slide two, you can see the physical methods uh, of antisepsis. It's uh, drainage, drainage of the pleural cavity. There are the uh, principle used, enhance uh, drainage from wounds and uh, pass from abscess, <coughs> abscesses and uh, impairments <coughs> uh, facilitate flow of the uh, outside. Into the dressing, all special uh, container with the uh, antiseptic solutions. It's two uh, physical methods. These physical methods uh, use the, use the vacuum, uh, vacuum methods. It's the physical methods. Uh, phys uh, physical antisepsis. Uh, wounds uh, can be uh, drained by using vinyl chloride uh, tubes, all different di diameters uh, which are placed in the wounds, abscess cavity, joints, pleural and abdominal cavity. The pus and the microorganism are discharged uh, through one of several drains. It's physical methods. Okay, in the slide uh, you can see to uh, drainage inside the abscess cavity. You can see in here the skin, skin, and the uh, abscess cavity. It's uh, rubber uh, drainage, rubber drainage uh, for the passive, for passive uh, drainage uh, pass. Uh, <coughs> Uh, in this slide, you can see the active drainage, active drainage, and uh, <coughs> flow drainage. Student, in, in this slide, you can see the <coughs> battle for the uh, for the solution, antisepsis, antisepsis tube, tube drainage inside the uh, inside the cavity, abscess cavity, and uh, in this you can see the second tube. Second tube for out pass out pass from the abscess cavity. 
And in, in here you can see this two uh, drainage, active drainage, uh, which, uh, which can use the vacuum, vacuum. And this uh, on this tube for, uh, for the uh, remove the pass inside the abscess cavity in here. Uh, can use the vacuum. In, th in the slide you can see the uh, using uh, the ultraviolet irradiation. Ultraviolet irradiation, uh, it's two uh, the physical methods of antisepsis. And we can use, we can use uh, ultraviolet irradiation for destruction of bacteria. And as you can see, uh, to the <coughs> uh, radiation methods, uh, physical methods of uh, destruction bacteria in here, it's laser methods, laser methods. Okay, uh, in this uh, you can see the uh, uh, ultrasounds methods of uh, destruction of the bacteria. Okay, it's uh, physical methods of antisepsis, and uh, next uh, type of antisepsis, it's uh, chemical methods. And now I show you, it's a uh, very lot, uh, very large groups uh, of antisepsis, uh, chemical antisepsis. Student, <coughs> in this uh, in this slide you can see the classification of antiseptics chemical antiseptics. And uh, chemical antiseptics, uh, depending on, on the use, depending on the use, uh, divided three groups, divided three groups. The first groups, uh, disinfectants are used to treat tools, wash walls, floors, treat uh, care item. Uh, the second groups, uh, antiseptic uh, substance, are used externally to treat the skin, uh, surgeon hands, uh, washing wounds, and mucous membranes. It's second groups. And uh, hemotherapeutic agents are administered orally and have a res uh, resorption, resorptive effects in the patient's body suppressing the growth of bacteria in uh, virus uh, pathological process. Three groups, and I repeat, disinfectant, antiseptic substance for use uh, externally to treat the skin, uh, surgical hands, washing wounds, and the mucous membranes, and hemotherapeutic agents. And now <coughs> uh, I show you uh, uh, what uh, what drugs, uh, what antiseptics uh, we can use, but uh, it's a lot, a lot drugs, a lot uh, medicine, and uh, <coughs> we are divided on chemical groups, chemical groups. Uh, the first groups are groups of uh, heredes, heredes. Uh, <coughs> what is, is this antiseptics? It's the first, this, uh, Yodin, Yodin is uh, one, one uh, five uh, potions alcohol tinctures. It's antiseptic for external use. It's used uh, to treat uh, the skin around the wounds uh, during dressing, to treat abrasions, uh, scratches, and uh, superficial wounds. It has the pro uh, pronounced uh, tanning effects. Uh, next uh, <coughs> substance, uh, iodinol, iodinol, the one frozen solution, uh, blue iodine, antiseptic for external use. It is the uh, use uh, for washing wounds, uh, rinsing the throat. Iodinate uh, and iodopiron are organic uh, compounds of iodine. Use the one protein solution. Antiseptics against the external use. Uh, antiseptic agents 
for external use. They use the process, uh, process the uh, operational fields. Uh, povidon iodin, povidon iodin, organic compounds, and to for external use, and uh, it uh, it is used for skin treatment uh, <coughs> during dressing and surgery. Uh, Lugol solution, Lugol solution to its uh, <coughs> iodine compound contains iodine and uh, potassium iodide. Так, and next, uh, next, uh, chloramine, chloramine. It's uh, before the, before this I told about the uh, iodine groups and this chloramine. It's a substance content, uh, contains the chlor, chlorine. For disinfection, this uh, chloramine, uh, disinfection, dis disinfectant, uh, it is used for uh, disinfection of care, care items. Uh, rubber tools uh, and uh, premises. Uh, next group, uh, next group, this heavy metal salts. Heavy metal salts, it's uh, sulema, uh, mercury uh, <coughs> oxycyanide. Uh, sulema, mercury oxycyanide, is salt of the mercury, salt of the mercury. Uh, now we can use the uh, very uh, very <coughs> rare, very rare uh, silver uh, nitrate, silver nitrate, uh, and uh, protargol, uh, colargol. It's salt of the silver, salt of the silver, and uh, two uh, is the antiseptic for external use, and uh, zinc oxide, zinc oxide two is a uh, <coughs> heavy metal salt. It's uh, salt of the zinc, salt of the zinc. Uh, next groups, uh, these groups uh, we can use very often. It's uh, groups of alcohols, and uh, ethyl alcohols is used as a uh, disinfectant. Uh, sterilization of uh, uh, suture materials, uh, treatment of instruments, and uh, as an uh, antiseptics uh, for external use. Treatment of the surgeon hands and uh, operating fields, uh, wound uh, edges during uh, dressed, dressing for compressing. Uh, student, uh, <coughs> you have to know the uh, 70 degree alcohol uh, has an antiseptic uh, uh, effects and uh, uh, 96 uh, degree alcohol is also tanning, tanning. Uh, <coughs> for the uh, for the treat uh, of the hands and uh, operating fields, we can use we can use uh, 70 degree alcohol, 70 degree alcohol. Okay. Uh, next groups is uh, all the guides. It's two, <coughs> uh, two substance, substance. The first substance is formalline. Uh, it's uh, 30, 37 uh, proteins of formaldehyde solution. It's very strong disinfectant. Uh, what, and uh, the solution are used to disinfect gloves, uh, drains, tools. It is effective against echinococcus. It is also uh, used uh, for fixing preparation for uh, historic examination. In dry form, uh, it is used for uh, sterilization in gas sterilizer. Next group, uh, group it's phenol. I remember you, <coughs> the uh, Joseph Lister the first uh, scientist, the first medical uh, who, uh, who can use uh, uh, this uh, phenol, carbolic acid, carbolic acid. Uh, next uh, uh, groups, uh, groups days, <coughs> uh, no, for example, is uh, diamond green, diamond green is an antiseptic for external use one to uh, process alcohol, all, all water. 
A solution is used to treat uh, superficial uh, wounds and abrasions and the oral mucus and skins. And the methylene, uh, blue, methylene blue is an aseptic for external use to uh, one to process alcohol or, or water. A solution is used to treat uh, superficial wounds and abrasion of the oral mucus and skins. Acid, acid and alkyls. Uh, student, uh, it's the next uh, uh, substance. Uh, boris, uh, boris acid is an anesthetic for external use. Two for ports and solution of it the one um, of the main uh, preparation for uh, washing and uh, treating purulent wounds. It can be used uh, as a powder. Is part of the powder and uh, ointments. Salicyl uh, acid um, is an uh, antiseptic for external use. Salicyl uh, acid is next. Uh, boric acid and salicyl acid. It's uh, acid anesthetics. It has a keratolytic eff effects. Uh, it is used uh, in uh, <coughs> the forms of uh, crystals or tissue leases. Is part of the powder and ointment. And ammonia, ammonia is, is alkalis. Ammonia is an antiseptic for external use. Previously, <coughs> 0 0.5 percent solution was uh, widely used for the treatment of surgery, uh, surgery hands. Так. Oxidizing uh, agents, oxidizing agents, uh, hydrogen peroxide, uh, we can use very often hydrogen per peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is an uh, antiseptic for external use. Uh, three uh, process solutions, the main preparation for washing purulent, uh, purulent wounds uh, during dressing. Uh, basic uh, basic uh, properties, Antiseptics, uh, hemostatics, deodorant, uh, and cause uh, foaming, which improves wound cle uh, cleansing. It is a part of uh, uh, pure woman. Uh, a, a six uh, solution, six pro person solution of hydrogen uh, peroxide is an important uh, dis disinfectant. And next, uh, oxygen. Uh, oxygen agents, it's uh, potassium permanganate, is an uh, antiseptic for external use, uh, two, <coughs> from two to uh, five percent solution, is used to treat bones and uh, <coughs> bed sores. It has a, a coagulating and a toning uh, effects. A student next group of chemical antiseptics is nitrofuran derivates and derivates of uh, of eight uh, hydroxyquinoline hydroxyquinoline uh, <coughs> nitrofuran derivates its uh, fourth line and uh, with a uh, lifuzol and uh, furadanine it's uh, nitrofuran derivates. And nitrosaline and anthroceptol is derived of the hydrohinalin derivates. It's antiseptic. No, uh, for example, anthroceptol, uh, <coughs> intestapine are uh, chemical uh, therapeutic agents used for intestinal infection, intestinal infection. Student, uh, next uh, <coughs> a type of uh, antiseptics. Antiseptics, it's uh, biological antiseptics. And uh, biological antiseptics uh, have the uh, four groups, four groups of antiseptics. And the first groups, antibiotics, 
antibiotics. A second group is uh, proteolytic enzymes. A third group is immune compounds. And the uh, fourth group is uh, bacteriophag. Bacteriophag. Так. Now I show. Now I show you the, the first uh, student. Uh, as you know, the first antibiotic, antibiotics uh, that was discovered by Alexander Fleming in uh, 1928. Uh, uh, <coughs> yes, is penicillin. In this, you can see this uh, penicillin, the first antibiotics. First antibiotics. It's uh, Alexander Fleming. Alexander Fleming. <coughs> he uh, he discovered antibiotics in uh, 20, uh, 28, uh, yes, 1928, and uh, <coughs> 29, yes. Uh, this is a report report about the, your discovery. No, okay, a student in the slide, you can see the characteristic of antibiotics therapy. Indication, indication. Antibiotics should not be uh, prescribed uh, un unless they are indicated. Contraindication for antibiotics, it's allergic uh, reaction, the presence uh, of renal, hepatic disease, uh, hearing defects of uh, pregnancy, and uh, the choice of antibiotic and antibiotics are chosen individually according to the uh, causative uh, infection agents. Infection agents. Uh, for <coughs> for this, uh, we can take the uh, biological analysis. Biological analysis uh, to type of uh, microorganism, to type of uh, bacteria. A uh, combination of antibacterial agents is necessary is, uh, cases, in cases of microbial uh, associations. Uh, can be uh, synerg uh, synergetics, antagonistic, and indifferent. Dosing of uh, antibiotics. Antibacterial effects of the agents only occurs if uh, concentration of the focus of infection, all in the blood for the particles uh, period and uh, being uh, maintained, being maintained. A minimum inhibitory concentration is the least among of drug necessary uh, to inhibit uh, visible growth after uh, 24 hours. Uh, duration of antibiotic therapy. Uh, duration of, uh, of antibiotic therapy depends on the rate of uh, uh, inhibition of inflammation and normalization of body temperature. The course of treatment is acute infection is about uh, uh, fifth uh, to uh, from uh, five to seven days. If the treatment needs to be prolonged, the antibiotics should be changed. Uh, your stopping the antibiotics therapy may cause the replies, relapse, relapse, may cause relapse. Student, uh, next group, it's immune compound, immune compound, and now I show you what immune, co immune compound uh, belong to, to the uh, biological antisepsis. Uh, the, f the first groups of immune compound the for active immunization. In the slide, you can see the uh, staphylococcal uh, anatoxin and titanus anatoxin. It's vaccine, it's vaccine. Uh, for vaccination of the people, vaccination of the people. Uh, next group, uh, immu immune compounds uh, for the passive immunization. Uh, for the passive immunization, we can use the anti-staphylococcal 
гиперимьюн плазма. Итак, антистофилококал гамма-глобулин. It's immune, uh, immune globulin uh, for the, uh, against, the antist uh, against the staphylococcal infection. But uh, now we, uh, we can use uh, other <coughs> hyperimmune plasma, no, maybe anti Escherichia coli, maybe anti Proteus uh, microbes, and other. And uh, below, uh, <coughs> below you can see the anti-titanus serum, anti-gangrenous serum. It's a serum with uh, immunoglobulin, immunoglobulin uh, against the uh, titanus and uh, gangrenous bacteria. And next group, immune, uh, immune stimulators, stimulators. Immune stimulators are non-specific, uh, at, the first, uh, at the first group uh, for active immunization, for passive immunization, uh, it's uh, specific uh, <coughs> immune compounds. But uh, immune stimulators uh, don't specific, non-specific compounds. And uh, it's uh, prodigiazan, levomizol, uh, lizazim. <coughs> uh, this, uh, these drugs uh, you can use for uh, stimulation of immunity system stimulation, non-specific stimulation uh, immunity system. It's immune compound. Next group uh, for the <coughs> uh, biological antisepsis it groups of proteolytic enzymes. Uh, they can dissolve a necrotic tissue, fibrin, pus, prevent edema, and enhance uh, the therapeutic effects of antibiotics can be used uh, topically uh, for infected wounds or uh, tropical ulcer. A solution of enzymes can be introduced into uh, various cavity, uh, the pleural cavity in uh, purulent uh, pleurisy, the joint cavity in uh, <coughs> purulent arthritis, all in the abscess cavity. And uh, this uh, solution of enzyme, uh, destruction of bacteria, destruction of uh, unliving uh, tissue, and uh, remove uh, these agents. And uh, the drugs is given through the drainage tube. Drainage tube. If your patient have the drainage tube inside the uh, cavity, uh, we can we can use uh, these drugs uh, through the drainage tube. Okay, student, in this you can see the uh, <coughs> what type of proteolytic enzymes uh, <coughs> you can see. Uh, proteolytic enzymes divided uh, some groups: animal origin, bacterial origin, and plant origin. The animal origin it's uh, trypsin. Hemotrypsin, hemopsin, ribonuclease. Uh, bacterial origin is uh, tyrolitin, streptokinase, collagenase, aspirase, ribonuclease, pyroxol. It's bacteri uh, bacterial origin. And plant origin. Plant origin is uh, papain and bromelain. Papain bromelain. It's a plant origin. It's protolytic enzymes. Now, in the slide, you can see it's uh, uh, animals uh, <coughs> origin. It trypsin, trypsin uh, animal origin. Hemotrypsin too. It's animal origin. Uh, hemotrypsin. Uh, crystalline to its animal origin. And uh, collagenase. Collagenase, it's enzyme uh, for, uh, <coughs> for uh, biological antisepsis. Collagenase. Student, and now uh, come over to a next topic. Next topic, it's a topic of asepsis.
Das Topic of Asepsis. Uh, what is it, asepsis? Asepsis, a set of measures uh, to prevent uh, bacteria from uh, <coughs> entering the wounds during surgery. And I repeat, asepsis, a set of the measures to prevent bacteria from entering the wounds during the surgery. It's a very often uh, definition. And now <coughs> I, uh, I, to, uh, I tell you about the surgical infection. Uh, surgical infection at the first divided two groups. Exogenous infection, exo exogenous infection, and endogenous infection. Exogenous infection, <coughs> three uh, type of exogenous infection, airborne infection, uh, contact inf infection, and implantation inf infection. Its, uh, <coughs> its infection uh, <coughs> belongs to exo exogenous infection. And endogenous infection, what is it endogenous infection? Forza of endogenous infection uh, boils infected wounds. Uh, endogenous infection, it's a force, uh, forza. Uh, forza with the bacterial, uh, forza with the bacterial inside the body, inside the body. And uh, maybe uh, uh, next uh, <coughs> uh, forza of endogenous infection, the boils, infected wounds, uh, carious teeth, disease of the upper respi respiratory tracts, ear, throat and nose, uh, throat and nose, and uh, in this you can see the uh, disease, throat and nose. No, for example, otitis, and angina, paragenitis, uh, <coughs> um, as well as the purulent and the inflammatory disease uh, of other organs and system. Uh, prevention of air and droplet infection. Student, uh, we have the uh, three uh, type of uh, prevention and classification. Uh, it's uh, s three type. Uh, the first, organization, organi uh, organizational measures. Uh, what next, uh, separation of uh, patients flow, uh, pure, and, uh, pure and clean. Separation of uh, patient flows. And uh, next, uh, optimal organization of the surgery units and dressing room. Organizational, uh, organizational me uh, measures, it's uh, separation of uh, patient's flows, pure and poor and clean. A and optimal organization, optimal organization of the uh, surgery units and dressing room. Student and uh, uh, take care out uh, all the types of the cleaning. Cleaning. Uh, we have the fourth type of the cleaning in hospital: uh, preliminary cleaning, currently uh, clean, uh, current cleaning, final cleaning, and general uh, general cleaning for the prevention of air droplet infection. And uh, in this uh, slide, we can see the prevention of air droplet infection. And in this next, individual measures, individual measures. Uh, passing the medical examination, all, all uh, medical staff, all medical staff. Uh, the use, uh, individual measures, is the use of masks. And next uh, measures, uh, conversation in the operating room. Uh, within the required minimum, and the moving in the operating room uh, within uh, the required minimum. It's individual uh, measures. Uh, let's I repeat, uh, passing the medical examination, uh, the use of the mask, and conversation and moving in the operating room with the required uh, minimum. 
and uh, <clears throat> uh, and uh, organization uh, prevention of air droplet infection use the next equipment air conditioner supplying laminar steam of the sterile air and mercury quartz lamp mercury quartz lamp as you know mercury quartz lamp destroyed dest destruction of the bacteria uh, on the air destruction of the air Так, <coughs> no, uh, it's, I repeat, uh, as you tell you, uh, in the dressing room are four types of cleaning, preliminary, uh, daily, uh, ordering uh, conduct before work uh, begins, included wet uh, cleaning of all uh, surface. Uh, current cleaning, uh, putting in the order to remove uh, contaminants is carried out uh, at least twice a day. Twice a day, the current, uh, current cleaning. Final cleaning, uh, putting, uh, putting things in order at the end of the day and uh, procedures similar uh, to the preliminary ones are being uh, carried out. And general cleaning, it's very important uh, cleaning for the operating room, for the dressing room, uh, general cleaning of the treatment room, conducted once uh, every seven to 10 days, and uh, this destruction all bacteria in this room, destruction all bacteria in this room. Okay, uh, next uh, type of uh, surgery infection, exogenous surgery infection is contact infection. Uh, what is it contact infection? Contact infection is, uh, is an infection that occurs uh, from uh, direct contact with the operating wounds of the surgery hands and other um, partic participant uh, in the operation instruments, surgical materials, linen, as well as infection from the patient's skills, skins, patient skins. It's contact infection. Contact infection is infection that occurs from direct contact, direct contact with the operating wounds. It's uh, very important, contact uh, with the operating wounds. Uh, student, in the slide you can see the Ernest Bergman Ernest Bergman, uh, in common with a pupil uh, Shemil Bush, uh, for the first time who has introduced in a word uh, practic sepsis, asepsis, uh, having effort in the uh, 1885 uh, years. Work uh, surgical tools, it by means of uh, specially uh, create a steam car. In uh, 1885 years, first time have report on a method asepsis on, his, uh, on 10 uh, the International Congress of Doctors in Berlin. Uh, the aseptic methods is uh, based on the principle uh, of destruction of microbial flora and all objects uh, adjacent uh, to the wounds uh, by heat, by heat, by heat, uh, maybe boring, and uh, now we can use the uh, action of uh, hot steam, hot steam uh, under the pressure. A science, uh, 18, uh, 19, two years, the methods asepsis uh, began to extend of many clinics of the walls, uh, has received the further improvement in uh, connection uh, with development of uh, science. And now it is impossible uh, in, uh, to imagine uh, surgical activity uh, without application of method of asepsis. Now we use this method asepsis, all clinics, all clinics. Okay, prevent contact infection. <coughs> A student, uh, we have the uh, important rules uh, for prevent contact infection. 
in, uh, in this slide you can see these uh, rules. Here, the basic uh, postulate asepsis has been uh, officially accepted. Everything that comes uh, in contact with the wounds must be sterile. It's important rules of the surgery. Everything that comes in contact with the wounds must be sterile. Now in this slide we can see this. Uh, we can use uh, the um, uh, methods of antiseptics and we can use uh, uh, drugs for antiseptics for, the <coughs> for treatment of the wounds. And here you can see that, and here you can see this uh, doctors have the gloves, gloves and sterile mat uh, materials, sterile materials for <coughs> the brightness. Okay, and here you can see the uh, sterile tools, uh, sterile gloves and sterile, uh, sterile uh, cotton materials. And this you can see, uh, this <coughs> operating fields, operating fields, it's limited operating fields, and uh, other materials, uh, the <coughs> uh, gloves, materials, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's st sterilized, it's uh, sterile, these materials. In this case, in this case, the bacteria don't enter the uh, operating wounds. Don't enter the operating wounds. In this, you can see the <coughs> rules of asepsis, and you can see the uh, use the uh, <coughs> sterile uh, tools for surgery, sterilized gloves, sterile uh, materials, sterile uh, limited fields of the operating fields. It's the rules for aseptic. And here you can see the rules for aseptic. Uh, student, uh, development uh, as uh, aseptic methods is connected first uh, of all with the name of two uh, scientists, Bergman and his uh, pupil, the Shemel Bush. Shemel Bush. The name of the last uh, last is uh, <coughs> immortalized by name dressing box. Dressing box, a box still now used for sterilization. Dressing box Shemil Busha. Box Shemil Busha. Tak. No, okay. Uh, let's I show you box uh, box Shemil Busha. On the 10 International Congress of Surgeon in Berlin in. Uh, 1890, uh, principles asepsis at treatment of the wound have received a general uh, recognition. On this uh, Congress, Bergman has shown the patient operated in aseptic uh, conditions without application lister antisepsis. Here, the basic uh, postulate asepsis have, has been officially accepted <coughs> everything that enjoined uh, to uh, a wounds should be sterile, should be sterile. Uh, for sterilization, uh, the bending material uh, was used the first of all. And um, Eschmark uh, has been offered by Koch method of sterilization uh, fluid the ferry. At the same time, in Russian, <coughs> Kandarevich, <laughs> for the first time in, in the world, uh, has provide, brought uh, the sterilization of ferry under the increased pressure in uh, most uh, perfect. And in uh, 1880, 84 years has uh, suggested to use autoclave for sterilization. After told uh, above and uh, knowing a modern state of affairs uh, rather st uh, st strange, the statement uh, of no surgeon Folkman. 
Result asepsis were satisfactory that application of antiseptics means uh, began to, to be uh, considered ex excessive. But, uh, but this error has soon be overcome. Okay, in the slide uh, you can see the sterilization, chemical sterilization. Glutar aldegid, glutar aldegid, uh, in a spray of glutar aldegid, uh, need to uh, 10 hours for sterilization tools. Formaldegid, uh, eight products and formaldegid, uh, need to 24 hours for sterilization. Autoclave, re region of autoclave, uh, you can see the autoclave, <coughs> 100, 100, uh, 0 0.6 uh, kilopascal pressure and uh, temperature, temperature 121 degree of temperature and uh, 20, 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes for sterilization. And uh, dry heats, dry heats. Uh, now I below uh, show you what is a dry heats. Sterilization for tools, sterilization for tools. Uh, uh, dry heats, region of sterilization, uh, 60 minutes, 60 minutes, and temperature of the sterilization is 170 degree, 70 degree. And this you can see the dry heat, uh, the dry heat box for sterilization, dry heat box. Uh, dry heat box uh, for sterilization, uh, the tools. Metallic tools, metallic tools, dry heat. Uh, by uh, uh, maybe a sterilization autoclave, but uh, it's uh, not uh, not adequate methods. Sterilization to, tool in autoclave. It's better in dry heats. Dry heats. And this you can see the uh, box of Shemil Busha. Box, box of Shemil Busha. For sterilization in uh, in autoclave. In this, you can see the autoclave, autoclave, for sterilization, and uh, region. Uh, I repeat, the region one hundred zero six kilopascal pressure, and uh, <coughs> temperature one hundred twenty one degree of the temperature, and uh, twenty twenty and thirty minutes. Sterilization. In this, you can see the industrial sterilization methods. Industrial sterilization methods for uh, single uh, single instruments, uh, single uh, syringe, single uh, needle, single instruments. Uh, it's industrial sterilization methods. Uh, it's a box for chemical sterilization. Uh, you can see the chemical sterilization at the, <coughs> it's uh, glutaraldegid, uh, glutaraldegid, glutaraldegid, formaldegid. Uh, if, if you can use uh, this method, sterilization tools inside this box, uh, bottom of the box, bottom of the box, we can uh, <coughs> uh, we, uh, put on the glutaraldegid, uh, maybe uh, two proteins, Two percent on, on the bottom. Maybe, maybe uh, formaldehyde, uh, eighty percent. And uh, if you can use the glutaraldehyde, uh, two percent, uh, we <coughs> sterilized uh, these tools uh, ten hours. Ten hours. Uh, we can use formaldehyde, eight percent. Uh, we uh, du duration of steril uh, sterilized is uh, twenty-four hours in here. In this floor, uh, you, uh, we put uh, the tools. We put the tools on bottom. We put the uh, formal guide. Okay, uh, student. Uh, <coughs> now it's all materials for our topic: uh, asepsis and antisepsis. And uh, now we finish our lectures.